Hi, Cancer. Long time no see. Welcome to your June 2022 astrology forecast. We have quite a fabulous, powerful month. We have a lot of focus that is there in your house of joint finances, sexuality, taxes, invoices, alimony, and this is also the house of sexuality. And then we also have a lot of focus that is there on your own self. What is it that you want? How it is that you want the world to perceive you? And then we have Saturn that is going direct as well this month. So a lot of excitement. Let me break down the month for you. And while I do that, do remember to like and subscribe. Please subscribe. So it will allow me to create more content for you. So let's see what June has in store for you, Cancerians. We have uh, Mercury, which is going direct on the 5th, and thank God for that. So all the negotiations, conversations, uh, travel, all of that gets open for us from the 5th of June. Anything uh, that is there before that can be revisited, revised, redone, re-looked at while the Mercury is retrograde. However, from the 5th, we not only have Mercury that is going direct, we also have Saturn that goes direct on the 5th and Saturn tends to go stationary retrograde for about once uh, every year it does that for about four and a half months and Saturn is a teacher planet very simply put you have to work with the Saturnian energy for you this has happened with your uh, around your issues of control Cancerian so this entire tug of war with Saturn with your own sense of uh, wanting to control people, wanting to have full control in your relationships, whether it is out of fear, whether it is out of love, whether it is purely wanting to have power. But this is a time where Saturn may have turned things around, made them a little bit difficult for you. You may have lost, in some cases, you some relationships may have broken because of that. Now, whether that uh, power control in you is stemming from fear or it is stemming uh, in you because of uh, you know insecurity or of lack of uh, you know uh, getting enough validation is another matter and I think that is something uh, that you need to be really delving into and hopefully Saturn has done that for you you will uh, really have to sit and figure out and get to the bottom of it as to why it is that you do these things that you do Fabulous time to be seeking therapy. Uh, for those of you who do not believe in therapy, fabulous time to be journaling. It will allow you to really uh, see things the way that they are. Uh, once you start putting them down, you realize, you know, that where it is that you stand and how it is that you could have done things more differently. Um, and uh, this entire power control around uh, relationships, around money, around who gets what on the table, uh, where does your partner figure, uh, your own insecurities, uh, it is uh, also around se your own sexuality or maybe the fear of being intimate with your partner and uh, when I'm saying fear it means that the fear of being really vulnerable you know that you really don't want to share yourself 100% you want to keep that 70% to yourself and just bring 30% to the relationships but uh, this may have impacted your life to quite an unhealthy uh, extent so Saturn has just come there and it has pushed you and pushed you and forced you to change to whatever degree that it has may have managed to for those of you where the transformation has happened it may have been painful but necessary and it may be that you are really on to a healing uh, journey now which is fabulous for those of you who have absolutely refused to change and said you know this is how it is and I am a power control freak and I will carry on being so then uh, the patterns will keep repeating for yourself and uh, I guess we all learn in time. On the 14th we have a full moon that is there in your house of work so something is coming to an end as far as your work is concerned maybe your office is getting shifted maybe for some of you uh, if it has been a hybrid model now it's a full time we are back to work for some of you it may be that it is now um it's completely you know uh, offline that you're allowed to work from wherever remotely from wherever it is that you're working but uh full moon also tends to bring about in this house maybe if there has been a health scare uh now you know you're sort of relieved that you are 
uh, you've got a, a second uh, opinion done as far as your health is concerned and everything is good or you are sort of over the hurdle now we also have mercury that has gone uh, direct on the fifth and uh, that moves into germany into your uh, house of uh, behind the scenes on the 14th and this is the house of spirituality this is the house where we also have family skeletons so it can be that they could be a lot of conversations around past around your home around your childhood patterns and it could be that a lot of this stuff the power struggle that has we spoke about earlier that there could be a realization that all of this is really uh, deeply embedded in your pattern maybe some of it is maybe you saw your parents in a certain way wanting to have complete control of your life and in certain ways it also speaks about certain cases it, it also speaks about uh, having almost uh, a belief or a spirituality not spirituality really but being almost fanatical as far as your belief system is concerned you know if you you feel like really really strongly about um, whether it is uh, whether it is religion whether it is a value system that that could sort of come up for uh, evaluation as well for a lot of you on the 22nd we have sun that moves into your own sign it's a birthday time geminians uh, sorry cancerian on the 22nd, we have sun that moves into your own first house as well. So happy birthday to all the early Cancerians and uh, the entire focus is on you, on your appearance, how it is that you want the world to perceive you and uh, you would want to be in the spotlight, you would want to get noticed and uh, which is not a bad thing as long as you don't become too obsessed about being absolutely self-centered and start ignoring other people around you. But it's a space and time towards end of the month where you're going to be feeling very confident, you're going to be feeling very bold and you're not going to be waiting for anybody's permission on help. On the 23rd, we have Venus that uh, comes in this house of behind the scenes with Mercury. So Venus is going to be easing a lot of those conversations. So if it has been very hard that for you to be speaking about certain things, um, especially as far as family skeletons are concerned it will allow you to have those conversations it can be in certain cases that there is uh, maybe there's a extramarital affair that's happening maybe there's a relationship that you do not want to bring it out in the open and you're keeping it really behind the scenes you do not want anyone to be knowing about it we close the month on the 29th with a new moon that is there in your own house cancerians and how beautiful it is so great time to be reinventing yourself great time to be literally this is your uh, this is your new year this is your zodiac new year so great time to be putting uh, your uh, dreams goals uh, how it is that you want your life to pan out for you uh, what is it that you really seek for yourself so put it all down journal it see it break it down um, and put timelines along with it because that will just allow you to reach your goals more faster. Do remember to subscribe to the channel. It will allow me to create more content for you. It's been a pleasure speaking with you Cancerians. I'll see you again and thank you so much for watching.